Illegals running across my backyard with Border Patrol chasing them. They live four blocks away from the border. So was it easy to cross over? It's safe, but I'm easy. Seems to be worse than I have to put the fence up. I mean, it'd be a huge mistake to close the border. It's been an open border. All my family's voting for Trump. We're all being watched right now. I voted for Biden last time. He's all woke. And America's built on migrant and slave labor. Today, we're going to travel to Calexico, California, a city right on the U.S.-Mexican border, to talk to local people about one of the most important issues of the 2024 U.S. presidential election, border security and immigration. We're here to ask residents directly, who are they voting for and why? Now, as you can see, we're right in the California portion of the U.S. and Mexican border. You can see this wall. It's not actually a wall, it's more like a fence. It's a very thick fence. Nothing like the Great Wall of China, of course, but I imagine if you're a very scrawny person, you can actually fit yourself across, right? It's crazy how quiet it is out here. You don't hear a wisp. Listen how quiet it is out here. Do you live close to the border? Yeah, like two minutes away. Oh, okay. So you see a lot of things going on here around the border. Yeah. Yeah. What what have you seen? What's the craziest uh, thing you've seen? Illegals running across my backyard with Border Patrol chasing them. What? Helicopters, Border Patrol in my backyard yelling. Wow. That, that must be hectic. Yeah, but it's entertaining to be fair. Has it quieted down in the last few months or? I'd say it's gotten better. A little it's bit. gotten better? Yeah. So the last, last year or so it got better? Yeah. But there's random moments where people will just come running through our backyard and is there because there's a gap in the wall or it's people climb get over somehow I'm oh sure climb yeah they have like a ladder that goes mm -hmm. higher all the way over there in that mountain if you can see that tower mm -hmm. there's a camera oh so we're all being watched right now down there we have a lot of people doing eight bordering atv right this is a this is a really fun thing all right so so in the upcoming election who are you supporting I'm not really sure, to be honest. Um, basically, whoever kind of reinforces the border, because there's mm -hmm. there's a lot of stuff that happens. Okay, guys, this is the first political sign we've seen all day. Let's go knock on the homeowner's door, see if they'll open. You're a former mayor of yes, I'm a, Yes, I am a former mayor. I've uh, been in the city almost at birth because I was born in Mexicali. I was born across the line. I think we saw the sign outside, so we know we know who you're gonna vote for. Oh, right? sure. It's kind of ironic because before uh, I didn't like him because he seemed uh, kind of arrogant. Um, people said he was racist. As years went by, I started seeing this man, and I started seeing the policies that he puts, and it really helps the American people. And uh, I stayed in one of his hotels. And it's been the best hotel I've stayed in all my life. Is it the one in Vegas? In Vegas, the... the one in Vegas. And they keep their places impeccable, the customer service. So that even, and I spoke to his employees mm -hmm. because mostly he hires, I mean, a lot are Latinos and black uh, people. And so I wanted to find out a little more about him. And everyone I spoke to spoke very highly of him, that he was a, a good man. I saw him when uh, he was our president, and uh, you know we felt safer. I live uh, four blocks away from the border, and you know when he was president, we didn't see the traffic we see today. Today we see a lot of uh, illegal uh, activities, you know, crossing the border. Mm -hmm. So we had a more secure border. Mm. So uh, that's being living, being a citizen here mm. in a border town, that's very important to us. All my family's voting for Trump. My children, my siblings, my mother. And, uh, you know, what's uh, kind of funny, uh, even my ex-wife, she uh, voted for Hillary. And now she's voting for Trump. Uh, so she saw the difference, you know, that Trump, uh, Trump did in our community and what's they're doing for the for the American people. A lot of my friends mm -hmm. uh, voted Democrat and a lot of my friends today mm -hmm. are voting Republican. I voted for Obama. Uh, so it tells you I don't really look 
too much at a, at the party. I look mm -hmm. at the candidate. So mm -hmm. I think he's a candidate for our times, and we need him. So you vote based on the issue. What do you think is the most important issue for you? I like that mm -hmm. he uh, keeps the United States out of war. You know, he's not a warmonger. Mm -hmm. uh, he keeps us safe in the border communities. I saw the support he did, gave to law enforcement and border patrol. I like his policy on um, getting more monies to the middle class and lower class. And he supports so much the business people. I do believe a lot in the trickle down uh, effect and uh, you know, giving tax breaks to the big corporations, it's fine because it's gonna trickle down and it just makes our country prosper. I know you said a lot of people, you know, they're now voting for Trump is uh -huh. because of the, what they saw Trump did in office. But was it some of it because what they saw in the last four years while Trump was not in office? Exactly. That's, you know, they're seeing the difference. Mm -hmm. Now they saw that when he was in office, we were good. Mm -hmm. Now that he hasn't been in office, there's a big change. Look at the inflation. It's mm -hmm. terrible. Mm -hmm. You know, where uh, in some places you're paying close to $5 a gallon in gas. Uh, look at what milk costs today, uh, mm -hmm. what meat costs today. It's, mm -hmm. it's very hard for the struggling families. So people are seeing that. And you know, they want the good old days when, uh, when Trump was in. Uh, like this banner here, mm -hmm. uh, I bought, uh, I invested, I bought myself and I put him around uh, the town because I believe in Trump. And, and then other, like when he ran the first time, uh, a lot of people attacked me and I have it on video because they they dislike Trump. But now I see, you know, my signs up, nobody's touched them mm -hmm. and because now they believe in him. Now they seen even he was persecuted. He was attacked. They've been trying to put him in jail for uh, for years now. And uh, he comes out clean, you know, they they can't really pin anything and people saw that abuse and they're saying they're seeing if they do this to a president what will happen to a normal person so mm. so that's why we need trump we have to bring justice back you know not abuse our our uh, justice system so in terms of border all right what is the craziest thing that you've seen living only four blocks from the border there used to be uh chases mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh all day long you know uh right here this was like a corridor i would see them come and they would hide behind the bushes here or there mm -hmm. and wait till the border patrol would uh, pass or uh, law enforcement wow. so uh, now they have other corridors yeah That's you know they got more organized mm -hmm. uh, because you have all these uh, organized crime mm -hmm. it's a big business you know not only the drugs bringing these people across uh, at mm -hmm. one time you know they would pay a couple of hundred bucks Mm -hmm. Now it's no, no less than five, ten thousand dollars, depending where they're going to be delivered. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, more uh, to the north from us, mm -hmm. the higher it is. Mm -hmm. And and you, do you think this hasn't gotten worse the last four years? Oh, sure, it's got worse. Yeah, look at how many people came in during Biden and uh, Harris. It's just been crazy. It's been an open border that's really destroyed uh, our community. You see how they're taking mm -hmm. jobs. Uh, how uh, violent some of them are. I can't say all of them because I do have compassion. I've seen that there is uh, people that come to the U.S. to work, uh, to provide for their family, and they send the money and, and go back. But you know, uh, we need to really do it the legal way. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe uh, during Trump, they were uh, fixing that. So you think the the, this current administration they sort of hampered that or maybe like they they, they, they hampered they, it they uh, really didn't pay attention to it all they mm -hmm. did was open up the borders mm -hmm. I believe what they did uh, they created a lot of new uh, voting people for the Democrats uh, at the Trump rally we talked to a lady she's from Calexico and okay she, and she uh -huh. was telling me that she goes to vote and then um, they don't they didn't ask for ID no they, they don't anybody can get uh, uh, their ballot and, and vote and in the last election, there was a lot of people that no IDs whatsoever. Oh, so you live right next to the border, like literally a block away. Yeah. What's it like? It's different, but uh, well, it's, been, it's changed a lot over the years. We've lived here for, I've lived here for about 30 years. My wife has lived here all her, all her life in this house. And, and uh, it's just 
completely different than what it was before. You know, it's, we have a lot of a lot more crime, a lot more illegal immigration going on. It seems to be worse now that they put the fence up. I mean, uh, more people trying to come across. So it's gotten worse after they put the fence up. In a way, in a way, yeah. So, so before there was there was no fence. Well, there there was a fence, but it was only like ten foot high with the barbed wire on it. You know, it was. Mm. There was a big issue of people come, people would jump across, but not that much, you know. So now they make it like 20 feet. Yeah, it's probably over 20 feet, 20 25 feet. feet high. But even though they made it higher... They're still coming across. I mean, you know, we hear a lot of Border Patrol action at night and during the day, you know, so mm -hmm. it seems to be like it hasn't changed much, you know, uh -huh. as it was before. So, so when when did you notice it's it gotten worse? I think the... What's Biden came in with the... They, when they changed the rules on immigration, you know, it's just a free, freer borders. More people started coming over, and we had a swarms of people. We would, you know, down down that way, uh, the town ends about half a mile that way, and we'd see people jumping over there and 10, 15 people at a time, you know, just against the fence, you know. Uh, so who are you supporting in the upcoming U.S. I'm president? I'm supporting Trump, basically, but, but, but because of the economy and immigration. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm an Hispanic. I'm, I'm, I'm Mexican. You know, uh, I was born and raised here in the United States, you know, and uh, most of my family was raised here. My mother was born over there, you know, but my grandmother was born over here. I vote, you know, on what I see, you know, and, and if, for me, very important is the economy and immigration. You know? So who have you voted before? In I voted for Biden last time. Mm -hmm. you know, and then I, I basically voted Republican, you know. We're, we're a house divided. <laughs> uh -huh. So how do you think Trump will make the border? Um, I think he'll, he'll make it border because he'll, he'll shut, shut it down more, you know, than it was before, you know, finish, mm -hmm. finish, I, I hope finish the the uh, fence you know uh -huh. and uh tighter security you know tighter mm -hmm. security and not 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 catch not 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 let it be a catch and release anymore catch them take them back you know i'm sorry for them you know but uh, i don't think it's fair to the people that's trying to do it the, the right way you know going through all the paperwork and all the time and everything mm -hmm. waiting years or whatever to come over here legally mm -hmm. and some people just jumping over and saying hey you know mm -hmm. giving them giving them everything I don't think that's right. Do you think the influx of uh, illegal immigrants has caused a spike in crime and also oh, yeah. hurt the economy of the city? Hurt the economy. I mean, free rooms, free hotel, free uh, money. You know, we have people in this country, in this city, that I know that, that don't have enough to eat. You know, this this county right here in Pura County is, I think, is one of the lowest income counties in the state. It helps you go to that, and not the other things. You know, sending money to other countries and uh, spending it on what they do. You know, I think it's it's, it's terrible. Mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you think Gavin Newsom is running California? I, I think he sucks. He's uh, he's all woke, woke, you know, all for the, for the, you know, like the same thing. Give him, give him, give him uh -huh. this, give him that, and everything, uh -huh. you know. I, I don't, I don't support that. You know, I work hard for my money. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, where do you live now? Uh, in El Centro here. I've been here 45 years. Who are you voting for in this I'm upcoming? I'm going to vote for Harris. Uh, Donald Trump is a disaster. People who say it was better four years ago have a very short memory. People were dying right and left. The latest study I heard was the minimum amount of people that died of uh, COVID because of Trump was 60,000 mm. and probably up to a quarter million. Mm. You can't drink bleach, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> and Mexico did not pay for the wall. I've had Trump voters tell me they paid for the wall. Mexico didn't pay for the wall. Do you think the border, we should make it more lax or do you think it should be like more... You know, more, uh, after 9-11, uh -huh. the Mexican government closed it. We didn't close it. The Mexican mm -hmm. government uh, closed it. And I, it costs the economy so to do it, $14 million a minute to mm -hmm. close the border. So mm -hmm. they can try closing the border, but boy, they're going to have a bunch of angry merchants, farmers and people that trade back and forth across the border. And it's going to be very, very costly if they do. It's a stupid thing. They should set up decent work programs, mm -hmm. allow a lot of people to come in for six months, 12 months, 18 months, give them a 30-day 30, 30 grace period if they're waiting on a, a paycheck or something, mm -hmm. and then they'll go back. A lot of those people, I know mm -hmm. I've lived in Central America, they don't want to live in the United States, they want to work here. Mm -hmm. make some money and uh, go back home. So you're saying the closing the border will make the sty will stymie economy sort of yeah. in a way, it'll, right? Because it'll hurt, it'll hurt the economy very much. This mm -hmm. was part of Mexico in 1843. Mm -hmm. And Pope, the worst president up until Trump, uh, made a, uh, got a law pass, or he, he, he told lies about slavery in Mexico and people being tortured and all this stuff. And he admitted he lied in his diary. Mm. And he got the war, the Mexican-American War going. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, United States won, we were technologically superior. 
we we took all this land in, but when you take the land in, you take the people too. It'd be a big mistake to close. It'd be a huge mistake to close the border. It wouldn't mm -hmm. last more than a few days because mm -hmm. the economy, the economic issues. What's like an issue that you trust Kamala Harris on more more um, than Trump? You know, I have my reservations about Harris, uh, but uh, mm -hmm. I I've always been hesitant to vote for uh, former DAs because they they tend to mm -hmm. you know be a little too hard on law and mm -hmm. order. I mean, I'm in favor of law and order, but that's one of the reasons I don't want Trump. You can't say you're for law and order and then say, oh, uh, January 6th was a love fest. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just, uh, you know, that's mm -hmm. just nuts. In 2016, Trump said he won California by 3 million votes. Mm -hmm. They had 3 million illegal people that were, I don't like calling them illegal aliens because nobody is illegal. Mm -hmm. in, in China, they use the word illegal to de uh, justify forced abortions. Mm -hmm. They call it an illegal child, therefore you can abort it. Mm -hmm. So uh, call them undocumented, that's a lot more respectful. Uh, you know, yeah, there's people on, on farmers and there are people along the border whose property is being trashed up and that kind of stuff. But like I said, a good works program. The farmers here need the work. Mm -hmm. The golf courses need the guys mm -hmm. that, you know, trim uh -huh. the things. The uh, fast food places need uh, workers there. Mm -hmm. And America is built on migrant and mm -hmm. slave labor to some, some extent. I hear some people say these people, they're taking the jobs away from the local people. What do you think? Most of those think? jobs, uh, Americans mm -hmm. won't take. Mm -hmm. The jobs they're talking about, we're, we're talking about grubby, dirty, the kind of jobs I did getting through college, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, you don't have to clean out a few grease, pe grease, grease pits at a mm -hmm. Taco Bell. It's filthy, it's the stinkiest job you ever have in your life. So these are jobs like Americans wouldn't want to uh, take oh, yeah, anyway, yeah. you know, a, in that kind of condition, right? There was a tree, uh -huh. uh, an apple orchard grower up there, uh -huh. and he couldn't get anybody, there wasn't an next American to work for him. He got one white guy, he quit at noon, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, yeah, they'll take a lot of jobs and they'll work cheaper than Americans. Which, let's face it, is good for the economy and good for inflation. If you want less inflation, hire cheaper workers. Mm -hmm. I'm, I feel sorry for some of the, those people get screwed. Mm -hmm. You know, people don't pay them what they should and they don't have any rights. But uh, no, it's good for our economy to have immigrants. But, set, you know, set a program where they can come legally and leave mm -hmm. uh, on their own. You know, the old people coming in uh, five years ago, you know how most yeah. people got into this country? People who were entering illegal? They were couples. They came in by airplane and they just overstayed their visas. So that's a that's a thing you think they should focus on instead of this, this wall that's between uh, you know, US and Mexico. They walls are a great solution for an eighth century problem. I, I saw a video of an eight-year-old uh, Mexican girl crawl over that 30-foot wall in about 10 minutes. Uh, yeah, she just wow. wedged her elbows in there, got up to the panel that was painted black so it burned their fingers like Mexicans couldn't figure out to go at night, you know, mm. <laughs> come on. And they, she threw a rope over, tied it off, mm -hmm. lowered herself down on the other side. Mm -hmm. Eight-year-old, and it took her five minutes to get mm -hmm. off Trump's, you know, wall, which, by the way, he made it taller above ground. He didn't make it deeper underground. And with that piece of metal he put up on top, they act like a sail and they work their way out of the ground. Mm. and fall over. Mm. Yeah, so, yeah. So, the, the, so it's not like a impenetrable. It, it's, it's like, it's, it's just it's, a... It's like, not a yeah. panacea of, yeah. of way of solutions, you know. And okay. this, the thing that really got me was taking children away at the border. Mm. I mean, come on. That's the, in, when the Germans did that, World War II was called Ravensborn. They mm. take children away from mm -hmm. couples and give them the Nazi uh, couples that were having trouble conceived. Mm. And that's that's what's going on here. There's, I understand there's up to 6,500 children that are, probably never see their parents again. Mm -hmm. And Trump's a liar. He's mm -hmm. a misogynist. He's a, a judged uh, rapist. I hope he doesn't win. I, it, you know, it, it's not really a judgment of him or Harris. It's a judgment of us. Mm -hmm. Because if we're accepting a guy, an avowed dictator, he, he said it, he pl plans on being a fascist. If we say, okay, yeah, we'll do that. Hey, my father got shot at 50, 63 times flying over Germany and France. You know, 50,000 American airmen died mm -hmm. killing or fighting fascists mm -hmm. and uh, the dictator Hitler and Mussolini. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now we just give it to him? We vote him into office? Come on. Mm -hmm. We're America. It's your chance. You know, this you got to show, step up and show yourself what, what kind of 
people you are. Where do you live? In Calexico, California. And so how long have you lived here? 20 años. Aquí en la frontera eh, es una situación particular porque eh, la comunidad que vive en Estados Unidos, en esta parte de Estados Unidos, también viven en México. Entonces hay un eh, flujo continuo de, de muchas personas. Entonces mm -hmm. aquí hay mucha influencia mexicana, pero eh, sobre todo en esta zona que es una zona agrícola, donde hay muchos trabajadores del campo que viven en, en, en México, pero que trabajan en Estados Unidos. Are you currently American or a Mexican citizen? Soy ciudadano americano uh -huh. y mexicano. Who do you support in the upcoming election, Trump or Harris? Por estar en la frontera, nosotros pensamos que, que los demócratas pudieran apoyar más a esta zona. Aunque para mí, en lo personal, están igual Kamala y, y Trump, porque uno tiene buenas cosas, el otro tiene buenas cosas pero ninguno de los dos es el mejor. Trump es un poquito más eh, en cuestión económica y Kamala más humanitario. Pienso que uh -huh. sí se requiere más protección en, en, aquí en la línea, pero yo pienso que ha, ha estado un poco mal la política migratoria. Uh -huh. En vez de permitir entrar a muchas eh, personas de Latinoamérica, primero deberían de uh -huh. organizar y documentar a los que ya tienen tiempo viviendo aquí. Mm. Entonces, sí necesitamos una, una, un, un, una border más eh, protegido, uh -huh. pero necesitamos políticas migratorias para que los que ya están aquí desde hace muchos años puedan arreglar sus papeles. Y los que están cruzando ahorita, la verdad es que no es, no es, no es bueno que a una persona que acaba de entrar le den permiso para trabajar y una persona que tiene 20 años trabajando indocumentada aquí no lo pueda tener. Mm. Who do, would you want to win the US presidency? Mira, lo que pasa es que eh, Donald Trump hay una, una política muy muy exigente, así me quiere muchos a uh, que sacar mucha gente la mano de oro de aquí de Estados Unidos y yo no estoy con él. What's your opinion on the border? Do you think it's too mm -hmm. lax? Pues eh, legalmente todo pasa fácil, lo que eso no, no implica que, que se detenga la, 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 la entrada para la, la ah. gente para, para acá, para Estados Unidos. So, do you think it's easier, uh, it's gotten easier in the last four years? No, ha sido más complicado porque hace muy larga, muy larga la fila, se, se entretiene mucho aquí. El presidente puso el cerco bien, bien al tote y, y ahora el mes pasado hubo, hubo, hubo mucho, mucha gente que entró. Sí. So if you, you could vote, you would vote for Kamala Harris, so, right? yeah. Okay. What's one thing that you think she would do better than Donald Trump in? Pues tiene ideales para la gente que que menos tiene, tiene más leyes que a favor de la de la inmigración, porque hace muy falta mucha mano de obra aquí en Estados Unidos que ella lo comprende y el otro no lo comprende. Where do you live? De México. Ahorita voy para Los Ángeles. Was it easy to cross over? Sí, para mí sí. Who would you want to win the U.S. presidency? Donald Trump. Why, why? Porque promete la estabilidad económica. Pues que vuelva a la normalidad. I'm here. Sube la economía en todo el mundo cuando. He's against immigrants. Mm -hmm. Why do you like him if you're an immigrant? Él no quiere que los emigrantes lleguen aquí porque llegan ilegal. Hay okay. muchas propuestas por las cuales puede uno entrar, visas de trabajo, CBP-1, algún familiar que mande por ellos, o sea, la forma correcta de entrar. La desinformación es la que a los inmigrantes no les favorece.